Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Live Rogue. My name is Dakota. Today I would like to talk about a simple rappel setup using a guide ATC made by Black Diamond. Um, the guide ATC is a wonderful um, device, either rappel device or a belay device, and uh, quite versatile. We'll only be going over the simple rappel function today. So the first thing I want to do is I, I can either have one single line or, or two lines. As you can see, I've got two slots here for two lines to go through. Since this is one single line today, I'm only going to place the rope through one. Um, I place the hand side of the rope, or my belay uh, breaking hand side, on the teeth here for additional friction. Also, I, um, I've got a Gravel locking carabiner here. This is a Lambda G carabiner. If you notice, it actually has um, two opposing gates, which actually makes it quite a bit stronger. It's rated 30 kilonewtons from end to end, so it's a super burly carabiner. Uh, take a, they take a little bit of getting used to, but what's nice is um, you don't have a screw, so if you're out in the desert um, doing slot canyoneering, you don't worry about sand and other grit getting into the locking portion of the screw gate. So what you want to make sure is that you've got that set up correctly and then your carabiner on and make sure whatever carabiner you, you use is a locking carabiner of some type. Then I hook in. I've got a personal anchor device here where I've got a little bit of a more length where I've, I've got um, you know some, some room to play. I'll also show you a backup. There's many types of backup. Uh, the one that I prefer um, as of recently is with a VT Presic. A VT is called a Valdetan Tress. It was used many years ago in climbing before they had synthetic ropes and it kind of fell out of use when synthetic ropes came about. But uh, since technology has progressed, this is made of an aramid um, core fiber that does not burn under high, it doesn't um, melt under high heat. So it's a great friction knot that can actually um, slide and, and not start unraveling and, and fraying on you. For this knot, um, what you want to do is, is make sure you've got the correct line. It's called a VT Prusik. You can find them online. But you wrap a few times around with one end here. So generally three times and you don't need more than that. And then bring both ends so they're about even down here. And then you'll just alternate them down the rope and they can be used on all sorts of diameters of rope um, but twist them down um, until it's it's pretty tight take another carabiner again I have another gravel carabiner and I've actually placed this safety above my belay device most safeties are below belay device because they can get locked up so that's something to keep in mind however with the VT press it can be released under load and that's one of the, um, the coolest things about this particular knot. So I've got a third beater going there. And now I am hooked up. So I've got both my belay device and my backup hooked. And then just want to get them set before I, I put weight on here. So now I have everything set up. I've got my ATC set up as well as the VT Prusik. And as I go down, if, if I release the weight on my brake hand, then you see the valve of the Tantris. Um, catches and if I want to continue heading down I can pull down from the top and release the entire system and continue as I was Thank you for your time today. I appreciate uh, you tuning in and please tune in next time to see our next trick Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to Live Rogue. My name is Dakota. Today I would like to talk about a simple rappel setup using a guide ATC made by Black Diamond. Um, 